telemetry quality has looked good throughout the boost phase. Now passing 1 minute 46 seconds in this light. And the second stage reaction control system is pressurizing the flight levels. System response looks good. Engine operating parameters on all three engines continue to look good. Body range continue to look stable. Vehicle is now gone to closed loop guidance. Seeing some correction in uh, the attitude as expected when vehicle switches over to closed loop guidance. Now two minutes, 37 seconds into flight, approximately three minutes remaining in boost phase of flight. And the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at lift off, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. Body rates and roll pitch and yaw build out nicely now after the closed loop guidance switchover. And vehicle is now passing Mach 5. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Port and starboard booster in the full thrust mode, core booster in the partial thrust mode. Vehicle body rates have damped out nicely now as the vehicle is continuing in the latter part of the boost phase. Approximately 30 seconds now remaining until port and starboard booster engines cut off. And approximately two minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. And standing by for a strap on engine to throttle down. And strap on engines have begun throttling down in preparation for engine cutoff. And port and starboard booster engines have cut off. And we've seen good indication of separation of the port and starboard boosters. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust as expected. Uh, engine response looks good. Now four minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And the upper stage with oxygen thermal conditioning of the R10 engine. And approximately one minute now remaining until BECO. And upper stage fuel system has now begun boost phase chill down. Core engine continuing to look good in the full thrust mode. Engine operating parameters look nominal. Now passing five minutes into flight. And the Delta IV is now 71 miles in altitude, 360 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,900 miles per hour. And approximately 10 seconds until core booster throttle down. And core boosters began throttling down in preparation for BECO, standing by for BECO. And we have Beco booster engine cutoff by for stage separation. And we have good indication of separation of the first and second stages. Nozzle extension on the RL10 is deploying. We have pre start. Mission and full thrust on the RL10.